Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update here with David Young from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. David, thanks for taking the time this week. Uh, more stability in muni bond uh, yields this week after a volatile week of the previous period. What did you see? Yeah, well, uh, first off, Mike, welcome back. Um, and, you know, the, the headlines still continue uh, to be credit crunch uh, stemming from the bank failures. Uh, we have looming recession. And um, importantly, next week we have the FOMC meeting. So uh, let me dive into a little bit of the economic data we got this week and this morning. Uh, the GDP annualized rate was um, an increase to about 1.1%, which was actually a pretty big miss on uh, expectations of about 1.9%, um, and a slowdown from Q4 of 2022 of uh, uh, an increase of about 2.6%. Um, today, we got the ECI, which is an employment cost index that was up 1.2% in the first quarter, um, which was a bit higher than expectations. Um, and, you know, this all kind of feeds into uh, the Fed hiking another 25 basis points next week, which is essentially baked into the market. Um, and then we had the PCE core deflator, which is the, fret, the Fed's preferred measure of inflation um, that was up. 0.3% uh, month over month, and then 4.6% year over year. Those were actually in line with forecasts, but um, that that measure uh, continues to be a bit sticky. Um, you know, the Fed would like to see that come down. And again, this all plays into the Fed hiking next week. Uh, in terms of, you know, what we saw in treasuries after that economic data came out today, um, we actually saw the 10 and 30 year rally both by about eight uh, basis points. Uh, the 10 year stands at a 345 and the 30 years at a 368. Um, and then I just wanted to, you know, kind of talk a little bit about the muni side of things, of course, um, which uh, the ratios have been rich. Uh, munis have been rich for, um, you know, the beginning of April up until really when we started to see some heavy primary issuance in mid April. Um, and those ratios have kind of reverted um, and we're seeing things. Uh, again, revert kind of back to the mean, but we still have a far way to go. Uh, and then in terms of Lipper and the bond flows, uh, we saw 92 million of outflows this week uh, following you know the 3 billion uh, last week. And that actually marks the 11th consecutive week of outflows. Right. And that 3 billion, of course, is a bit of an outlier because that was tax week. People uh, often will uh, will sell muni holdings to raise uh, money to pay taxes on April 15th uh, when that's due. Um, but uh, still, the re rebound to a continued negative number is not great for the technicals. Um, you know, one thing that is obvious when you take a look at the charts of the muni bond yields is that uh, overall yields do remain low. Uh, so it's still not a bad time to access the market, but obviously uh, continuing the trend that we've seen really going back into the fourth quarter, next week's calendar is light uh, because issuers don't want to be caught up in any kind of volatility around the Fed. Before we uh, sign off this week, let's just talk about this week's uh, market activity because uh, the total calendar was down a little bit, but the BAM calendar is still pretty active. What did you see? Yeah, so in terms of the overall primary market, uh, we saw about 10 billion, which is a continuation of last week. And as you mentioned, uh, for issuers, you know, maybe the idea is let's come to market before uh, the Fed speaks and they have their meeting next week. Uh, BAM actually had a great week. So we had we insured 16 transactions for 165 million in par. Uh, the most noteworthy transaction that uh, we insured was the $43 million Mountain House Community Services District. Um, that was a utility deal and priced by Piper. And then just kind of looking forward and looking ahead, as you mentioned, relatively light week. I think we're seeing about six billion on the calendar next week. Um, and so, uh, you know, BAM will continue to stay active and, and you know, uh, the competitive market is pretty active as well for us as well. Great. And I encourage our viewers to take a look at BAM's YouTube page. We do have a Credit Insights video on that Mountain House transaction. Managing Vice President Mark Capel from the San Francisco office sat down with me to talk about it. A little bit of an interesting transaction. That's a green bond sale, BAM Green Star verified green bond sale, uh, supporting water, wastewater, and stormwater projects in Mountain House, which is a new and growing community in, in Northern California. And uh, interesting there on the credit side, there are three separate levies for those different uh, services, but all of them come together to support one series of bonds. So some of that in, uh, investors uh, should take a little deeper look at. And Mark is uh, on the video to help you do that. Have a great weekend, David. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right. Thanks, Mike.